All right, YouTube, we're back on the series called The Best. Our topic to, uh, th in this vit segment is still on running backs, but instead of all time, we're sticking to who we think our best running back is for our individual team. For this video, we're going to go to Light Bright and the Falcons. If you guys recall, when we talked about our best before, Light Bright said work done. All right, Light Bright, why work done? Well, Warwick Dunn officially ended his career playing 12 years in the NFL, which ending his total career with 10,469 yards and 49 touchdowns. And his five his five years with us, he was he almost was pretty much averaging a thousand yards rushing each year he was with us. His first year he was with us, he rushed for 967 yards and was, you know, only a couple short of a thousand. Then in 2003, he was on pace to rush for a thousand yards, but he ended up getting hurt. Now, when he came back from that injury, the next three years he was averaging over a thousand five hundred yards rushing. I mean, the man was just, like, electrifying, and his running and receiving skills were just phenomenal. Like, it was hard It was hard to cover him because you didn't know what the Falcons were going to do because at that time he was playing with Michael Vick, who everybody knows was pretty much, like, the ultimate cheat code in Madden, Madden 2004. Like, if you played Madden 2004, Michael Vick is the cheat code in that game. Just FYI for you. But... All in all, man, Warwick Dunn is just, he's just a stud. He's just a stud. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. All right, but I want to throw you a quick uh Oh, wait, real quick sorry. Oh, my bad. Was we still talking about Falcons running backs? My bad, I fell asleep. Are we still talking about that, or we, did we segue to some s somewhere else? But, as we were saying... <laughs> <laughs> I want to throw you a curveball real quick, like bright. Okay, so yeah, work done. He was a beast, and he did have Michael Vick, which helps out a lot. But I want to mention two two running backs specifically. Okay, I want to mention Michael Turner and Gerald and Gerald Riggs. All right, these players, you know, they set a mark. Uh, Michael Turner. Ooh. They set a mark for the Falcons. I mean, you know. The pre, uh, he had the Gerard Riggs had the uh, record franchise record for rushing yards in the game at 202 yards, which then Michael Turner surpassed with 231 rushing yards. They and then Michael Turner was also, I believe, he was the first player for the Falcons to be named a player of the week at one point, you know. And then, and these guys didn't have. Michael Vick to kind of help them out. I mean, you know, Michael Vick got into some trouble, and then you know Michael Turner ended up going to play with the Falcons when they when they had Matt Ryan, and he was a he was a dog. He was a workhorse for the Falcons and took them to the nearly took them to the playoffs or did I can't remember exactly, but I know that he got worn out towards the end of that season. But he was a dog, and then Riggs, same thing, man. He was such a good player that, you know, after the Falcons parted ways with him in his final few seasons, he ended up winning a Super Bowl with the Redskins. But, you know, so with that being said, you know, in comparison, you take away Michael Vick, would have work done been as productive as these two were? Yeah. Hell no. I knew he was going to say that. No, man, you're crazy. You're crazy. Without that, without that, that threat of Michael Vick, you think Warren Dunn would be as good as he was? Like Warren Dunn wasn't average. We start. Come on, bro. Be real, man. Catch these facts, bro. Be real. You really believe that in your in your body? Yeah. That's nuts. That's nuts. That's fair enough. What about you, Black Magic? You got any other running backs that? Could arguably have taken this spot for more done or anything. Oh, 
No, well, he was thinking about like Falcons running backs, and he couldn't come up with nothing. That's why he looked away like that. No, my apologies, my apologies, my apologies. <laughs> um, yeah, like I literally forgot about Michael Turner. Yes, I think my, Michael Turner. You think take... he would be? A, you think he's the better running back for the Falcons? What do you mean the better running back? Do you think he's? You think that was the best running back that the Falcons have ever had? I mean, hell, you could even throw in Steven Jackson in that mix, too. No, you can't. No, you can't. Not the best. No, you can't. Most productive, but not the best. What about you, Don Mega? Any other running backs on there for the Falcons that you can think of? For the Falcons? Wait, let me think. I think, no, I think Brian got it right, though. You you agree that Warwick Dunn's the best to play for them? Best running back in the Falcons, yeah. Okay. Sorry, I I was thinking a lot, and that's how my camera dropped, but, um... Hey, it's okay, bro. uh, I'm still thinking. Um, no, I don't know any Atlanta notable running backs. I just don't. Fair enough. Warwick Dunn's not going to the Hall of Fame, and if that's your best claim... You lost in the sauce, brother. I'm just saying, man. Well, y'all I don't never, have good running backs. I never don't claimed have good for running him. Backs. I never claimed for him to be a Hall of Famer. I just said, but that was y'all's opinion, best running back. Yeah. As of right now, Devontae Freeman hasn't even well, finished has... his career. Right, Devontae right. Freeman hasn't even finished his career. So Kevin you think Coleman Devontae Freeman is going finished... to be as good as work done? I think Devontae Freeman. I think Devontae Freeman. Game. I liked his game, but I mean, he was a average running back. He was like a four point two yarder, which is great. Okay. Well, maybe not even that. Maybe like three nine. All right. I don't know. All right, hold on. What's up, Black Magic? What were you trying to say, man? Don Mega. Don Mega. Don. Wait, man, man. My name's Don Mega. Mink drag the flow. Like nowadays, cast these fights. How you gonna sit there and discredit somebody else's team like that? For real, uh, we're, we're, we're not we're not trying we're not trying to put no, no, down anybody else's no, team. No, no, we're just no, trying no, to figure he's, out. Uh, discredit. He's discredit. <laughs> he's trying to discredit the uh, the Falcons running back Warren Dunn and Brian sitting there stating his opinion about the running backs in his team. I mean, are we all supposed to be like... No, I'm the antagonist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> One thing, I'm going to find Hold something up. to Hold argue up. with y'all about. Hold up. Work done was trash. Hold the up. Falcons are trash. Pittsburgh is trash. Kansas City's cool. Hold and on. And Dallas is, you know what I'm saying? You, you know how I feel about Hold on. No, 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 no. Hold on. Let's not. Wait. Let's not. We're not getting off topic. We're not. Okay, okay. No. All right. Let's get back on topic. But, Light Bright, I do have to ask you something, Light Bright. I do have to ask you because you did mention that Devontae Freeman hasn't finished his career. So, do you think if he stays the rest of his career with Atlanta, do you think Devontae Freeman can surpass? Or Dunn's mark. If he can stay healthy, yes. You think so? Oh, All right. Yeah. Well, YouTube, you heard it from. Don't get me wrong. Life. I do like work done. By the way, guys, YouTube, I like work done. I do you, like. Him. I do. You like heard him. it here, guys. All right. Light Bright's our Falcon fan. He says work done. I threw a couple names out there that I knew of, I knew a little bit of. But if I came down to my opinion, who I thought was the better of the running backs. I would have said a war done as well. But, I, you know, wouldn't be much of a video if we all agree. So I got to throw in these curveballs every once in a while I'll question some of these guys. But, you know, in our next video, we'll be going to Don Mega and his Cowboys, and we'll figure out if he still thinks Emmitt Smith was the best of there or not. We'll figure out what the rest or of us not. think. What? But... Join us next time when we come back to this series and we talk about Don Mega and the Cowboys.
He's probably going to say DeMarco Murray, YouTube.